Hello everyone, this is Daz, and this week's discussion is on staying hydrated and the importance of it. We'll get into it after a message from our sponsor. If you're worried about the future, you're not the only one. Right now, there's an overwhelming surge of Americans who are stocking up on emergency food. Should you be one of them? Ask yourself, do you currently have enough food on hand to get you and your family through a prolonged crisis that lasts months? If not, you should strongly consider getting a three-month emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply. They're the nation's number one preparedness company, and they've served millions of American families. Right now, save $100 off their best-selling three-month emergency food kit, which comes with breakfast, lunch, dinners, drinks, and snacks. This kit gives you about 2,000 calories a day, and the food stays fresh for up to 25 years in proper storage. But if you can't act now, you might not secure these kits. Head over to preparewithdaz.com and claim your three-month emergency food kit at their special price. You'll save $100 per kit, but you must act today while supplies last. That's preparewithdaz.com. Staying hydrated is one of those things that's easy to overlook. Oftentimes we're busy. Some of us are better about it than others. I've seen people carry around gallon jugs to drink out of while others don't remember the last time they took a sip of water. Honestly, I can a lot of times fall on the end of not drinking enough water. Really what's made me more cognizant of getting more water is some of the issues I faced earlier in the year that I've mentioned, like the vitamin D deficiency where I had to take vitamin D3 and... K2 and then also just other things I've been through where one of the many steps I needed to take to improve my health was to stay hydrated more often. So one of the major benefits of drinking more water is it promotes cardiovascular health. Your heart is a big muscle that is continually pumping to ensure you get enough oxygen to all your cells. A common cause of overworking your heart is dehydration. The fact of your body not retaining enough water to function correctly. Dehydration lowers your blood volume, which causes your heart to work harder and faster to make sure the rest of your body has oxygen. An overworked heart is prone to heart attacks, strokes, and other heart conditions. Your chances of heart issues decrease tremendously by drinking an ample amount of water per day. It's a really big deal because we all know how scary a heart attack, a stroke, or any type of heart condition can be. And if it's something as simple as drinking water, there's no real cost to it other than getting proper water. I will say this though, there are places within the United States as well as in other parts of the world, and the U.S. has less of this problem, but there are places like Flint, Michigan who have tainted water. So you may have to get a water filter. I'm someone who drinks hot water. I drink cold and room temperature water, but more so I drink hot water when I'm back at home. So hot water is safe to drink as well, or you can boil your water and wait for it to cool down as well. Or if you're able to buy bottled water is another way you can get water as well. It also helps joints and muscles function correctly. Have you ever had an uncomfortable muscle cramp like Charlie Horse? If you have, the cause behind your discomfort can be dehydration. Your muscles and joints tense up without the right amount of fluid. It is why orthopedic doctors suggest all patients, especially active patients who participate in sports or intense exercise, continually drink water throughout the day. The more water you drink, the better your muscles and joints respond to physical activity. When I was in California, I went from being in humidity in Missouri into dry heat. And I remember waking up at 3 in the morning and I had really bad leg cramp. Like my leg was charley horsing. And I was on the top bunk because I had to share a room with two other girls. And I, when I tell you it was rough, it was rough. And even though I was in Northern California and Sacramento, it still got pretty hot. And just dealing with dry heat, you need to drink more water than if you live in a humid climate. One thing I will say is traveling out west, it taught me I had to drink more water than I did when I was living in the Midwest or out on the East Coast. Water also maximizes physical performance. Staying hydrated maximizes your overall physical performance. Your body works best if you have enough fluids. Whether it's for sports or normal activities, the moments you start to decrease your water intake when your body starts to lose energy. People who participate in high levels of activity should carry enough water and fluids with electrolytes to drink before, during, and after any intense exercises. Many athletes drink not only water, but also beverages like Powerades or Gatorades. This is another big deal. I'm someone who I like to work out at least 30 to 45 minutes a day, but to be honest with you, my ideal week is working out 
five to six days a week for two hours, one to two hours a day. And I've done it where I've gone like five days of two hours in a row or even six days of two hours in a row. And it's not recommended for most people, but I just like the endorphins and I get a dopamine rush from exercising a lot. And I'm someone who likes a lot of cardio, not a big weights person. But one thing I did find when I was upping my exercise, I had to up my water intake and I had to clean up my diet. Right now, I haven't been the best about it because I've been out of town. But once I get home again, I want to go back into the gym again and try to go back to my one to two hour regimens at least five to six days a week. And that's one thing I had to start doing is carrying a water bottle, not just when I went to the gym, but even when I was driving around or doing other things like working. It's just keeping myself hydrated because it does really improve your performance. Water also cleanses your body. Every day your body takes in toxins from food, beverages, air, and other environmental contaminants. These toxins cause physical imbalances which make your body feel fatigued and strange. Drinking water cleanses your body by helping organs like your kidneys filter water from your blood and dispose of it. The more water you drink, the more toxins your body releases inside and out. This in turn makes your body feel energized and refreshed. Love it, love it, love it. Like there's nothing like a good cleanse. And knowing that all you have to do is drink some water, it takes out the impurities. I've also found that if I drink water, it helps just naturally speed up my metabolism or keeps me in a good flow of things. So definitely get your water in. It also treats ailments. Staying hydrated also aids in treating many different ailments and illnesses. When you're sick, it is vital to continue drinking liquids. Your body is working hard to fight off viruses or bacteria that enter the body. So drinking enough liquids can help you recover faster. Common health issues that hydration helps combat includes headaches, kidney stones, colds, flus, and seizures. I just love how God made water and it's all around us and how beneficial it really is to us even when we're fighting bacterial fungal infections or viruses tips on staying hydrated achieving a well hydrated body is easy your first step is to drink water multiple times throughout the day the institute of medicine recommends that men drink 13 cups of water women drink nine cups of water children and teens drink six to eight cups and pregnant women drink 10 cups of fluid daily while exercising it's recommended that you drink eight ounces of water every 15 minutes and 16 to 24 ounces after exercise you can also get water from fresh fruits and vegetables, so it is ideal to eat a good portion of them daily. A good rule of thumb is to remember that you should intake about one to three cups of fruits and vegetables a day. Hydration is the primary key to life. We would cease to exist without it. These are just six benefits of staying hydrated, but there are, way, there are many more like aiding in weight loss and keeping your skin clear. So that's just something to consider because yeah, drinking water is very important. I'll keep a link to the article I read, but I found this across the board with research and just living life, you'll know this. I think as you grow older, like I know when you're a child, not every kid is like this, but some kids don't like fruits and vegetables. They prefer pop to water, but as they get older, they start to prefer water. Like is when you, by the time you get into your thirties, you like a good home cooked meal, you like water. I can see myself getting like that when I'm in my thirties. I remember after 20 years old, I found that I couldn't eat as much dairy. Even like at 15, I realized I might be a little lactose intolerant. And then after I turned 25, because I had other issues like with root canals and things, I started making me eat less candy. And then by 25, I was experimenting with veganism, vegetarianism, all of that. And now even though I'm not a vegan or vegetarian, I still just prefer a diet that's heavier on whole foods because I see how beneficial it is and I'll tell you this being away from home not being able to have like a stove or a microwave to cook it makes me have to eat out and I hate eating out because it makes me feel really disgusting like a lot of food just doesn't taste very good to me when I eat out but one thing I do to kind of feel like I'm cleansing myself is buy fruits like oranges drink lots of water have salads, things like that, because it makes my body feel like it's cleansing itself of any toxins I get from eating out. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys, because I know we talk a lot about all kinds of things on this channel, but it's been a while since we did a health video, and I thought, why not do it? And I hope that you enjoyed this week's upload. Unfortunately, I realized that I'm going to be flying home from Michigan on Thursday night between like 6 and 10, so... That is during the live stream time, so I won't have a stream on Thursday night, but we will pick up again the following week. So thank you everyone for tuning in, and 
I'll talk to you in next Wednesday's video, and we'll have a live stream on November 25th. Take care and God bless.